Hi everyone and welcome to video 8 of this body slide series. In today's episode we're going to talk about setting up and using body slide output folders for both MO2 and Vortex. I've covered this in parts during several previous videos, but we're going to put it all together in one spot here because I personally think this is the best way to manage your body slide builds. In the installation video, we made a body slide output folder for MO2 and pointed to this in the application's settings menu. What we did not discuss is that you can do exactly the same thing in Vortex, which will keep body slide from just dumping everything into the data folder in an unmanaged way. Let's quickly recap how to make the output folder for MO2, then we'll make one in Vortex, and then we'll review how to edit the settings and point to these folders from within BodySlide itself. To make the folder in MO2, click on the little tools icon and select Create Empty Mod. Give it a name like BodySlide Output and click OK. Find it at the bottom of the left-hand pane, tick the box to activate it, and be sure you keep this folder activated at all times and keep it loaded way down here at the bottom of your load order. To make a similar folder in Vortex, click up here on the folder that says Open and select Open Mod Staging Folder. Here you can click on New to create a new folder, name it something like Body Slide Output, and then close the window. We still have to do a few more things in Vortex, but let's set up Body Slide first since this step is the same for both mod managers. Open Body Slide, click on the Settings button down here, and then click the arrow next to Advanced Settings to open that pane. Here next to the Output Path, click on the Browse button, and then navigate to the new folder we just made. This will be located in your Mod Staging folder, whether that's for Vortex or MO2. I can't tell you exactly where that is, because it depends on how you installed your Mod Manager. But it might look something like this. Once you find it, select that folder and click Select Folder. It should show up here in the Output Path now, and you can just click OK at the bottom of this window to exit Settings. Now when you click Build, BodySlide will send all the output to that folder. If you use MO2, you should be good to go. After building an outfit and closing body slide, you may need to hit refresh up here in the tools menu if the files don't load automatically. But that's basically the end of the setup. For Vortex users, we need to do a few more things. First of all, Vortex won't recognize this new folder yet, which is fine. To fix that, you have to close and restart Vortex, but we're going to wait until after doing our first build because otherwise you're probably just going to have to do it again after that. So with Body Slide open, pick one of the bodies in the drop-down list and click Build. The confirmation message should show that it was successfully built to your new location. Click OK, close Body Slide, and also close Vortex and then restart it. When Vortex reopens, you'll get a warning message saying that you were naughty and changed mods outside of Vortex. Embrace your inner rebel and click on Apply Changes. Then go to the Mods tab, search for the folder that you made, and enable it. Vortex will redeploy, and you'll probably get one of two warnings. If you get this one about the mod being redundant, it means the folder is empty, and that makes Vortex unhappy. Just ignore it and hit Close. If you followed my directions and built the body, then you won't get that warning, but you'll probably get a message that you have unresolved conflicts. This just means you need to set a rule. And the rule you need to set for this folder is that it always loads after any other mods that it conflicts with. For now, this will be a body mod, like CBBE, so we set the rule for our body slide output folder to always load after that body mod. Each time you build to this folder in body slide and are ready to go into your game to check things out, 
you'll need to redeploy your mods by clicking on this button. If that doesn't work, meaning that you don't see the new outfit in the game, then I would suggest closing and restarting Vortex. Note that Vortex will often complain if you edit things in this folder directly, but you can add and delete NIFs there and it should be fine. You'll probably get a message asking you to confirm which files you want to use, with options like Save Change or Use Newer File being presented to you. Assuming that you made the changes intentionally, just click on Confirm to update the mod within Vortex. Or you can click Cancel if you did not mean to make those changes and you want to revert back. And also don't forget that if you get a message in Vortex about mod conflicts, make sure your body slide output folder loads after everything else. In contrast, MO2 doesn't care what you do in the mod folders, and it won't warn you if you do something weird. So just be sure you only make changes that you know you want, and or you back up the files before you delete or edit stuff. Another tip is that you can use a single body slide output folder like we made here and build everything to that. Or, if you want, you can make different output folders and build to those as appropriate to keep your outfits organized. For example, I have a folder where I build things for the CBBE body and a different folder for the BHUNP body. This is even easier if you always use batch build and hold down control before clicking the button. This gives you an option during the building process to choose where you want the meshes to go, and you can pick your folder then or make a new one. You can even choose to build to your desktop or wherever else you want, and then manually move stuff into mod folders later. There's a lot of flexibility, so don't assume you are stuck building all of your outfits to the default locations if you would prefer to have more control over where things go. Thanks for joining me to learn how you can set up and use different folders for your body slide outputs. In our next video, we'll talk about a few more safeguards as well as some cautions to help you have a successful and happy experience with body slide. Until then, happy outfitting.